Welcome to part two of my Windows 365 starter series. And in this part, we're going to have a look at how to connect to your cloud PC, taking in the role of your end user. So for that, um, the easiest way after your cloud PC was provisioned, you will also see that in the state of the provisioning policy, which we saw last time, after your cloud PC was provisioned, you can go to windows365.microsoft.com from any browser or any modern browser. And there you will see the web interface of all of your cloud PCs. Also here, the end user will first of all get a little tour about how to use the portal, what he can do and so on. Um, pretty simple. Now then he can directly connect from the browser to his cloud PC. And that's really awesome because he can now choose any browser on any device and connect to his cloud PC. Then he will get presented with some session settings um, so how, which, um, which peripherals can access your host machine call, can also go here to um, don't show again if that's all fine for them. You can also see that via into configuration, by the way. So now the connection to the cloud PC will be established securely. And also here we get some browser pop-ups about allowing all that. And here, pretty cool, we're directly connected to our cloud PC. I've already set up it um, and, and, and made some system configurations. But what we have here is now Windows in the cloud. Pretty nice experience. You can use it um, like you're familiar with. So go browsing using all the great apps. I mean, you know everything about it. Now for configuration options or also support options, um, you can also get here some connection informa information. So how good is your connection in terms of um, connectivity and also from the remote computer. You can also full screen that played here, upload files and here again access all of the same information. Now here, for example, enable high DPI. That's uh, quite, quite an important setting because what that will do is scale up the quality to your cloud PC and as you see now, it has a way, way better resolution now. Next up, we have the so-called Windows app. Yes, you heard right, Windows is now an app. And uh, for admins, so going back to an admin perspective, it's a good idea to deploy that app through Intune to your existing devices. Now, of course, if a device isn't managed, you cannot deploy an app, but for all the managed devices, you can go to Intune and add an app here from the new Microsoft Store. Pretty simple, huh? And then here, search for the Windows app. Here we go, check if it's really from Microsoft and here, uh, select that one. Uh, could also um, specify your own information for that app, upload a logo if needed, and then assign it. Now remember required means it will automatically get installed inst uh, uh, silently in the background for the user. So each and every device you put in here as group or all will get the app installed. Um, available means it's available from company portal. And also that uh, is quite a cool thing. Now I have prepared an other Windows 365 machine and um, there you can install the Windows app now from company portal. Um, optionally, of course, it's also found in the Windows Store. Pretty simple if you don't have Company Portal, so just go to Windows Store. Quite easy. Um, and as soon as it's installed, uh, you can search for it for the Windows app. And on the first launch, you need to authenticate with your Enter ID account so it knows which cloud PCs are assigned to you. Now let's wait until the app was loaded. Here we go. And as said, on the first, um, on the first um, installation or launch of the app, um, you need to authentica authenticate or otherwise it will directly use a single sign-on from the account which you were signed in here. You could also sign in with a different account. That's quite cool. And here you can also go to connect, to connect to this uh, cloud PC. It's pretty simple. From an end user's perspective, 
You could also add this cloud PC to task view. If I do that, um, we now go here to the widgets blade and there we see our cloud PC. Now that feature is called Windows 365 switched. So it's a seamless experience between your host system and also the virtual um, cloud PC. I suggest you go test that one out. You will see it's quite an amazing and cool technology. You could also restart, reset, restore, rename, and so on. <laughs> Do all the options here, view, view details, and also here, apply the settings. Otherwise, you would just go here for a connect, and then it will establish a connection. That's, by the way, also the recommended way by Microsoft doing your uh, Windows 365 connection through the Windows app. Now, next up, you sense that I'm on, I'm on a Mac. And there you can download the Microsoft Remote Desktop um, app. Also here available from different sources. And one thing more to show from the Windows 365 portal where the user has access to, he can download all the access apps right from here. That's important to mention because here you can also um, get the Remote Desktop app for Mac or for Windows or for any other OS. And that's quite cool. So he can directly start here from one portal. Now for remote desktop, it's essentially the same. You need to sign in with your account here, and then you will see all the cloud PCs, double click on that, and you will be connected. And now I can also use Windows on my Mac. That is great. And with that, I want to close the video. That's about how you can connect to your cloud PC, most familiar options, and also the, the ones recommended. If you want to uh, know more, uh, make sure you check out my blog post and also Microsoft's official documentation. Thanks very much and see you in the next video. Goodbye.